Hello everybody, it's Tryhard Sista. Welcome to the show where I tell you about an anime and maybe even inspire you to watch them. This time you requested Anohana, and it also goes by a bunch of other names. You suggested it, I watched it, and now here we are. Let's go! After a tragic accident, a young girl named Menma passes away. Ten years later, she appears to her friend Jintan and wants him to grant her a wish. That way, she has no regrets and she could go up to heaven peacefully. He must round up his old group of friends. They tried to give Menma her wish while confronting the ghosts of their past. Anohana is a story about growing up and learning to let go. The episodes were paced well and the story developed gracefully. The heartwarming parts made me tear up a few times. I had to suppress my sad feels in order not to flood my room. It was really tough. The art style reminded me of Fairy Tale, and no surprise there, since they both come from the same animation studio, A1 Pictures. A1 Pictures has also worked on shows like Magi, The Labyrinth of Magic, Sword Art Online, and Black Butler. The animation in Anohana was, well, it was wonderful. <laughs> There were various angles in the same scene, and extra bits that didn't need to be animated, but they did it anyway. That additional work really shows, and it paid off. Fan service was done tastefully. I don't know how you do that, but Anohana managed to pull that off. The sound was done well in this show. Cricket sounds outside, and cicadas, footsteps, even a noise from a plastic bag. In fact, the sound crew worked a little too hard on Anohana, putting sounds where they didn't need to be, like when somebody grabs someone else. You hear a huge clap, or if someone's tightening their fist, you can hear it, but in real life you wouldn't. They went a bit overboard, but it's okay for emphasis, and it isn't necessarily a bad thing. The soundtrack is beautiful and fits in nicely with the scenes. The calm, peaceful piano tunes with synth were not overpowering and added a bit of warmness to the show. Opening and ending themes of Anohana were sweet, like the rest of the soundtrack, but they didn't get stuck in my head or anything like that. The characters in this show are more on the realistic side and not too over the top. They are an endearing bunch of down-to-earth people with many emotions and are multidimensional. Their secrets get uncovered throughout the show. We learn about their struggles and hidden emotions as they deal with the ghost of their dear friend. For a show that is mainly about a dead girl, Anohana is not grim, but rather it's enlightening and actually quite lovely. This 2011 anime had 11 episodes of drama and friendship. Considering story, art, animation, sound, music, characters, and overall enjoyment, I would give Anohana, the flower that we saw that day, 8 Nokemons out of 10. What did I learn from Anohana? Damn, people hold on to their feelings for way too long. Learn to talk about your undesirable emotions before they build up inside you and you want to explode. That shit ain't healthy. Let us sister know if you've seen Anohana and your thoughts on it in the comments below. Subscribe if you like seeing this face, along with watching anime reviews, K-drama stuff, and, and, lots, and having lots of fun. Click on that thumbs up button if you like this vid. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tryhard Sista. I'll see you next time.